Okay, I'm going to attempt to show you a Webster Chicago uh, wire recorder. And uh, this was what they used to use before there were tape recorders, even. And I was fortunate enough to be able to get the schematic uh, from the internet. Uh, unfortunately, with a lot of tube devices, you have things like this. This is a filter capacitor that came out of the unit that had uh, 20, 10, and 10 at 450 volts. And you can see I had to mangle it to get it out of there because it's very crowded in there. There was also <clears throat> a double capacitor electrolytic that had dried up. Uh, this one got hot. This one just caused the whole thing to make a horrible screeching noise. And on the schematic, here and here and here are the three sections of the big electrolytic. <clears throat> and the little electrolytic uh, was the cathode bypass. So here's one section and here's the other section. And what was strange is that because it had dried out, it was actually coupling from here to here and causing this uh, amplifier to feedback. So let me see if I can show you where I replaced those. Uh, this is a Model 18-1. These people made a lot of different models. Um, let's see, down in here, I don't know if you can even see it anymore, the little orange capacitor in the background is one of two that I replaced, and then for the big electrolytic, I simply got some uh, capacitors that are much smaller, these are 33 at 450 and that actually ended up doing a better job of filtering. Um, the other capacitors in here are the plastic type and so they seem to work fine. Um, and there was no leakage and they still function correctly. So let's see if we can make this thing do its trick here. I'm going to stop the camera just long enough to thread this thing up. Okay, I've got it threaded. I'm going to turn this on. I found the playback mode. Number four works. Number three seems to go through some external thing that I don't have. Uh, these little spools of wire have uh, 7,500 feet on them, which gives you an hour. It's really tiny wire, and you bring the wire through this slot, and when you push down this button, this little metal thing lifts up so that you can insert the end of the wire under there. Sounds like it's warmed up, so I'm going to see what happens here. Hmm, seems to be dragging just a little bit. It sounds like maybe the brake is still on somewhat. Happy birthday, dear Penelvini. Happy birthday to you. Geraldine Joy is now going to sing Silent Night. Well, it seems to work. <laughs> 
So, uh, these are pretty interesting things. I have a whole stack of reels of the wire that I haven't listened to yet. So, just thought I would show you that, and it was relatively easy to fix.